Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is on this Rosie Huntington Whitely makeup look. She recently just launched her beauty website called Rose Inc. And it's her just letting us know all of her beauty tips and secrets and just collaborating with a whole bunch of beauty experts all around the world. So she recently just posted this look on her Instagram and I thought it was perfect. So I asked if you guys wanted me to recreate it and you guys did. So here it is. Also let me know in the comments down below other celebrity looks you want me to recreate because I had so much fun doing this. But if you guys wanna see this rosy inspired makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay, starting off, I'm gonna put these bad boys behind my ears because I know it's gonna irritate me while doing my makeup and I feel like it'll irritate you guys as well. Also, don't pick your spots. Don't recommend it. I don't know why I did. I haven't done that in so long, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna start off with a foundation just because Rosie's eye look isn't too overpowering. It is a little bit more on the smoky side, but it's not, um, it's not enough for me to do my eyes first and then my makeup or face makeup. So we're just gonna go in with face makeup first. Going back to an old foundation favorite, which is the By Terry Terribly Dense Den Lip. Mm, you know, I'm gonna link that down below. But I do have the shade Honey Glow 7.5. Now, she didn't look like she had a lot of a tan. I had a little bit left over, but um, most of it is off. Her skin just looked really even, not too perfected actually. Like, I still felt like I saw her skin underneath. And that's what I love about this foundation. You can definitely get a full coverage look if you want, but a nice one pump thin layer application still looks very much skin-like. Oh, I love this foundation so much. This class. Okay, now I've just been doing this lately. As you can see, my nose has no foundation on it just because it's been really oily as of late. I don't know why, but I just find my foundation is going into my pores and it just looks kind of cakey. So until I balance that situation, I'm just going to use this foundation powder on my nose just because I feel like it doesn't um, sit the same as a liquid foundation. So that's a little trick if you find that your foundation just looks extra cakey and it's not sitting well because of the oil try just using a powder foundation on that area that is super oily. So I'm using the Alma Pure um, powder foundation and I'm just going to put that on my nose. Alrighty, moving on to concealer. I am taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla, not Custard, just because it's a little bit brighter and I just want some definition um, and contrast. So I'm gonna put that under my eyes, a little bit around my nose and on that little friend that I decided to pick today. Now, when it came to Rosie's face makeup, it definitely was neutralized and not overpowering because she has such amazing features to start with. It was just a little bit of an enhancement. So I'm gonna take my old trusty uh, Filmstar Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm gonna take it on the Sigma Soft Angled Contour F23 brush. I've been loving this for my contour lately. So I'm just gonna dip that in there and lightly contour. To be totally honest, it didn't even look like she was wearing highlighter or blush, but it just could have been the picture quality, um, you know, not picking it up because in other pictures it did look like she was wearing it. Um, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on because I feel like everyone needs a little bit of blush and highlight. I'm also taking that contour color along the side of my nose, right into the inner corner of my eyes. We definitely have a different shaped face and especially the nose, so just trying to emulate that. Obviously it's not gonna look the same, but I haven't really contoured my nose in a while, so any excuse. Also a little bit under my bottom lip because I feel like Rosie is so known for her luscious, natural, pouty, pillowy lips. So I need to make those look a little bit Plumper, but hey, this is just a recreation. I'm just gonna do what I think will suit my face shape and my features because obviously we look different. Now, I didn't notice a very prominent blush, but I am gonna put a very nude, subtle color on my cheeks. I'm gonna take this new blush from NARS. It's the Erdem Collection in the shade Loves Me Not. So it's like a kind of nude pastel color, really pretty, very um, subtle on the cheeks. Like you just get the lightest hue of pink popping through and I feel like that's the only color I saw in the picture. Just very, very subtle. And then for highlighter, because why not, we're just gonna use the highlighter in this Filmstar Bronze and Glow palette. Just the smallest amount on the tops of our cheeks, a little bit on our nose, 
and Cupid's bow. Just very subtle. All right, I'm gonna leave it there for our face makeup. We're gonna move on to our eyes. Now, Rosie's brows are definitely a lot straighter than mine. Mine have a little bit more of an arch, but I can kind of mimic the straightness with the brow hair. So we're gonna try and do that. I'm gonna use this NYX Sculpt and Highlight Brow Contour in the shade Rose and Soft Brown. I'm gonna do tiny strokes because she didn't have a super defined brow. It was definitely a softer, bushier looking brow. Just gonna try and make it look straight, not too filled in. Kind of like that, like just very subtle difference compared to that unfinished brow, but just a little bit more fuller. Of course, to keep these bad boys in place, a little bit of this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. This is just gonna make it look a little bit more textured so you can see all the brow hairs doing their thing. Okay, and now we're gonna move on to our eyeshadow. I feel like our brows are pretty similar at the moment. So I love this eyeshadow. I feel like it's a smoky version of a cat eye without using liner. So I thought the perfect palette was this Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette. It has three different looks in it. I'm just gonna cover the mirror so you don't get the reflection. Uh, we're just gonna play around with mostly the matte shades. She does have a little bit of shimmer um, on the lid in the inner corner, but mostly matte. I'm gonna start off with the Desk Eye, the middle color right there. And I'm taking it on a MAC 217 blending brush. This is gonna be our crease color. Really just blending it from the inner corner all the way to the ends of our brows. Now I'm gonna go in with this more cool tone shade from the Day Eye section. And I'm gonna keep this more at the outer corner right in the crease, not blending too far up because I want that warmer tone to be the last color we see. Okay, now we're gonna go and deepen it up a little bit more. So I'm gonna take from the Date Eye section, the darker version basically of the shade that we just used and do the exact same technique right in the crease of our eye and then bringing it down to the lash line, kind of creating an outer V shape, which is just gonna help give us that cat eye shape. I'm gonna go back to that original warm shade and just buff out the very top section there to make sure we didn't lose it with all of those cool shades that we've just used. Really bring it into the inner corner. She really, or whoever did her makeup, I feel like it was Patrick Ta, um, just really brought it into that inner corner. Now taking the lightest shade in the palette, I am just gonna go right under my brow to clean it up if we blend it a little bit too much because she doesn't have the shades going too high. So I'm just gonna clean that up is a really good eraser shade. Okay, now the part that I'm a little nervous about because you could definitely leave it like this if you wanted it a little bit softer, but she does have a very dark shade right at the lash line kind of flicking out. So I'm gonna take the black from the disco eye section here and we're gonna achieve that, but I'm just hoping it doesn't mess up because it could. I'm gonna use very small movements Kind of wiggling it back and forth and then also right up into our crease. So we're going to just take some of the powder on a little stipple brush and I'm just going to swipe it up, cleaning a little bit of that line, making it look straighter and more like a, a cat eye flick without making it too sharp and intense. This just kind of gives us the lift that we need. Okay, lastly, she does have the smallest bit of shimmer in the inner part of her eyelid. So I'm going to mix these two sparkly shades right here, just on my finger, just a little bit, and just press it on ever so lightly so that it catches the light. Nothing intense, though. And then taking the lightest shimmer shade right here and popping it in the middle. And that pretty much completes the shadow look. Okay, so she actually didn't have any shadow on her bottom lash line, which I'm all about. You guys know I don't love putting shadow there just because I just don't feel like it suits my eye shape. But for mascara, I'm gonna use this one that's new to me. It's the Eye of Oris Mascara. Mascara, <laughs> mascara. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick coat on the top and she does have some on the bottom. And then I'm gonna add some individual lashes and I'll be right back. I feel like individual lashes was definitely what she was wearing just because you can customize them. And she had a little bit more at the outer corner and like hardly any in the inner corner. So I just did that, just customized them so that they just looked a little bit more complimentary to the eyeshadow look. 
Moving on to lips. This is a little bit of a tricky one because all the pictures of her, the lip color looks a little bit different just because of the lighting, whatever camera was used, but this is the one I'm gonna try and kind of replicate. So I know this is gonna be of no surprise because I use it all the time, but I'm gonna use World Lip Liner from MAC. Um, her lips are amazing, so uh, I'll just overline mine just a little bit. And then we'll do a little concoction of lipsticks to try and get the same color. All right, for lipstick, I have three different colors here. I feel like I'm just gonna blend them all because it looked like she had a little bit more of a moisturizing lipstick. It wasn't matte. So I'm gonna start off with the matte shade and then put a more moisturizing color on top. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Lip Color in Sedona. Now it definitely has more of a peachy undertone, but we're gonna put more of a mauve color on top of it to hopefully get the perfect shade she's wearing. I think I'm gonna take this one from Lise Watier, and this is in the shade Charlize, and it has a little bit more of a mauve um, undertone, and it's definitely moisturizing. Like it definitely looks like the color in one of the pictures, but I feel like I wanna go even a bit more mauve toned. So I'm gonna take this one from YSL, and this is in the shade 107 no 61 sorry and this one definitely is a lot more cool toned so this is the final look i love how it turned out i'm a massive fan of rosie huntington whiteley i think she just kills it when it comes to beauty and just fashion and everything she is such an icon to me i absolutely love her so i had so much fun recreating this uh, i also think it'd be really perfect for wedding makeup i'm like looking at this and i'm like this would be really pretty wedding makeup especially with like your hair up and everything i don't know let me know what you guys think but i hope you guys enjoyed this celebrity inspired makeup tutorial don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys soon bye